Hello, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm back with the, this double abut case that we have. Uh, there's internal connections here on both. Um, we had to go with a solvent that we use every day on dentures. It's called tartar and stain remover. You can also use it with bite guards. Here we're using it with the internal connection of these two screws. And you can actually see very closely how that bio burden is just falling off the implant. Just literally just falling off. That's what we want. We want all that tartar out of there. We'll, we'll keep it soaking about 10-15 minutes while the other half is soaking in the same material, only it's in an ultrasonic. Well, it would be great if we can put these in an ultrasonic, but we don't have that luxury. So basically what we're going to do is we'll, we'll give it the, 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 the amount of time to about 10 minutes or so, then go in with proxy brushes and try to really clean these threads up thoroughly so that they're meticulously clean. Uh, once we do that, um, then the next steps are to follow. We have to do a try-in. Um, I've still got my work cut out for me uh, with the screws inside um, the case. The other thing I can do is after I get the screws cleaned up on the, uh, the two-unit splint, I'll put it in t uh, tempon remover. So if we can get the tempon to let go between the crowns and the abutments, then that's even better. So then, then we got a really nice case because then we can take total control of the screws, change them out, get them cleaned up, uh, you know, and work in that direction. So, Let's see what other news we have. Um, we have nice rims, nothing's hurt. Uh, looks like the screw holes look good. Looks like the hex is intact. See a loose case for a while. You might see a lot of like uh, aberrations and and areas internally that are marred and scarred. So we haven't seen any yet. We're gonna look. We'll do a microsuction, suction out. Taste anything weird? Anything bad? No? Okay. Okay, so that's suctioning out with a microsuction tip. We're just vacuuming all that out, and then we're going to go right back in again with a fresh, a fresh batch. Cleaning up nicely. Not only bio burden, but we got food particles, things that have been in there a long time. Okay, get that in focus. And we'll go right back in there, starting to clean up nice. I can see a shininess to the surfaces, look good. Alright. So we'll fill the base up first. Uh, suction that. Okay. So what was holding it in was the hex, the internal connector, engaging as we call it, engaging, internal engaging. Non-engaging means that there are no internal hex and cases are easy, more easily retrievable. Probably what was going on, look at how much is coming off of this lip here, that's amazing. This is all inside the lip. This lip is clean. This other one was filled with stuff. Um, right. And 
diameter is real small. Can't get in there with that. Okay, sorry about that. Alright, so we have our green proxy brush going in. That's still pretty tight. Okay. Well, I don't want to force it in there. Okay, we're going to turn it back and forth. Yeah, it did go in. It did go in. So you work it in there. This one dropped in. That's better. I'm looking at maybe a difference in diameter here. Okay. Rinse that out. Microsuction it. Okay, so we've treated with TNS. We're going to go back in now with microsuction and do another visual. Starting to look more and more pristine. It's good. And we'll go we'll do one third wash now. We'll do one more. Let's see if we get any color change. All right, so looking great. Again, what's working in our favor here is that they're not so subgingival. Oh, yeah, here. Is that right? Yes, you. That one's temp on. That one's temp on. Okay, so far so good. You can see the distal one turning a little amber right now. See some of the particles coming up around the hex. They look real close. You can see how that's... See, they're still dissolving. Yeah, they're, d they're dissolving. Okay, great. So we go back in, we'll scrub again. Until we get all the particles out of there. And I got to a little different angle and I can actually drop all the way in. So looks clean. Suction that. Cotton plier. Hand it to me. Okay. All 
All right. Okay. Coming up on a break, okay? I'm just going to do a quick vacuum and give you a little downtime here so that I can finish up. Uh, you doing okay? Way to go. Okay, so you've got a brand new, almost brand new situation now with the threads. And uh, nice and clean. Those are very nice. Great. So you can close on cotton just so nothing goes in there, but I doubt, you know. I got it. my work cut out for me now. I got to go clean up the other half, so I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs>